What's up guys, this episode we're gonna be diving into the Rails 5.2 encrypted credentials functionality and this is kind of a replacement for your secrets.yaml and your secrets.yaml encrypted files from before. So Rails 5.1 actually introduced secrets.yaml encryption and now we have a replacement for all of that where we're using a credentials file for everything. So this is gonna be an important thing that you'll probably want to upgrade to as you migrate to Rails 5.2. But basically, you're going to have this credentials.yaml.encrypted file and a master key file in your config folder. Now the master key is just your master password for the encrypted credentials and you can have this as whatever you want. You won't want to use this number that I'm using um, in the screencast, but you'll want to use something like that, maybe longer, um, maybe special characters, I don't know, it's up to you. But you want to set your master key and this master key is not stored in your git repo. So by default, it is added to your .git ignore. Uh, in a new application. So if you're upgrading Rails applications, make sure to add config master key to your git ignore file. So this is gonna be super important. You do not wanna have that file in your git repo. Otherwise, it's not secure, period, um, because anybody could unlock that credentials. So your credentials.yaml file is now going to be encrypted. You won't be able to read this by default. And you'll have to use a command in your terminal to go ahead and unlock this. So it's pretty straightforward. What you want to do is you want to say editor equals, if you're using Atom, you want to do dash dash wait or Visual Studio Code, you want to do code dash dash wait. You can also use Sublime or whatever else in here. I'm going to use MacVim, which takes a dash F command.